So what's happening with Fort Knox? Um, I think we should talk about it just because there's a lot of things going on right now in the mainstream news and it has nothing to do with the gold that the U.S. is supposed to have. So we're hearing about Russia, the gold back ruble and all types of things to do with gold and other currencies. But we're not hearing anything about gold and Fort Knox here on the home front. And I got a picture I want to share with you. Let's talk about this. Okay, so I want to take a quick minute. Uh, somebody in the community shared an interesting photo with me, and I thought I would pass it on to you guys so you guys get a chance to verify it and make sure that it's 100% authentic. But uh, this is going to be a, a somewhat of a community effort here because I want to definitely reach out to all my community members in the Kentucky, Fort Knox, Louisville area to validate this photo. And so as you guys can see on the screen right here, we have a picture of the United States Bullion Depository. And from the looks of it, this was passed through the Wall Street Silver community, and it looks like it's boarded up. And so once again, apart from all the news that I've been touching on for the last several months, especially the last two, three years, I haven't even thought about Fort Knox or nevertheless, you know, the United States gold. And of course, for those people who majority of people are already very suspicious as to whether or not the gold is actually there or not. My personal opinion is that whether it's there or not, the goal is to no longer even discuss that or touch it just because we're trying to move to that digital revolution in reference to the blockchain and all the things that come with that. But gold is important to other nations because it is a form of credible monetary stability. And right now, I don't think the United States of America is too concerned with that. But the last time we did hear about gold, it happened to have come from a tweet given to us by Steve Mnuchin the last Treasury Secretary of the U.S. in 2017 when he tweeted saying that, you know, I'm glad to see the gold is safe. And so I remember touching on that a couple of years ago and it caught me by surprise because I'm wondering what exactly does it mean the gold is safe? It should, it, should it be safe? You know, if the gold has been there and no one has been allowed in there, it should be perfectly fine. But then again, there was a lot of thought as to why that came about. And then you have the alternative community like to think that it's a part of a you know, Nassar, Jassar, I'm going to let that go, but you, you get my point. So there are some people who think that gold is a part of the equation that the U.S. will use for our future. I hope it is, but I wouldn't hold my breath because of, as of right now, based upon this photo that appears to be recent, it looks like the U.S. bullion depository might be boarded up. And if it's boarded up, then the question would be why? What are they doing? Because usually when you think about something being boarded up, it's usually vacant or it's being boarded up to protect it from outside forces coming in. But then again, when you have the most safest depository in the United States of America type of facility there, why would you board up with wood boards as if it's going to stop anything? So where's the goal? Apart from information that came out several years ago in reference to the politicians that got a chance to go in there so as you guys can see here here's an article from cnn that was a follow-up to the visit by steve mnuchin and a couple other kentucky representatives and of course mitch mcconnell was one of them and so there's some pictures here some photo op things here of them holding brick bars as if we're supposed to believe that but everyone in this community here knows how important gold is to the monetary system and of course the nations out east they're making sure that they continue to remind their citizens as well as the world the role of gold where here in the u.s is not even talked about so the whole point of doing this RTD quick take was just basically to present this photo to you so you guys can sit, get a chance to see what appears to be the current state of the U.S. building depository, or i.e. Fort Knox, in comparison to an older picture where the windows appear to not be boarded up. So the question is, what are they preparing for? What are they hiding? Most people believe that the gold is not even there. And if it is bricks of some form, it's probably tungsten coated in gold and it's always been my suspicion that of course because the future has nothing to do with gold from what the u.s wants to do we will never hear anything about this so this is where i want to get you guys involved and so first of all as i mentioned if any of the community members are in that area let's go get some fresh pictures and then also take this video here and share this particular picture or this video itself and pass it along let's get fort knox trending or usbd united states bullion depository trending so it gets people thinking about other subject matter other than what they're forcing us to pay attention to which happens to be protest over Roe vs. Wade or the Ukraine Russia conflict or whatever else they might be trying to throw your way in your neck of the woods. But anyway, want to take a quick minute to bring to you the probability that the Fort Knox could be boarded up. Let's verify that. If it is boarded up, let's bring some attention to that. Let's get some hashtags going so people can get a chance to see what's happening in this country outside of what they're trying to force down our throat. Let's talk about the savings of the United States of America, which is supposed to be in Fort Knox as well as in Wall Street in the Federal Reserve vaults in the basement on Wall Street. So anyway, thought I'd take a quick minute. Let me know your thoughts. Have any of you seen this picture prior to? And definitely 
tag me leave a comment down below let your thoughts be heard let's try to get this out there so people can find out what's going on because it to me it just highlights more of the importance of precious metals i.e gold and silver because it's real it's disconnected from the other stuff that they're trying to steer us towards and then once again this will be the ultimate way of verifying proof that there is something actually there rather than just trusting their words and us going along with the fact that there's supposed to be gold in the vault somewhere what good is the gold unless you actually put it to use and bring it back into the system and the only way that's going to happen is if people in the community are willing to make a fuss to let the rest of the world who's asleep know what's really at stake here and it has to do a lot more than just the monetary system it's also our government as well so anyway thought i would leave some thoughts of course there's more to touch on but leave comments down below if you've enjoyed this quick rant hit the thumbs up button share this so people can find out what's going on let's verify that photo and make sure that fort knox is actually boarded up and then let's get that trending hashtag fort knox or hashtag usbd and let's see if we can get some attention on this important subject matter because our monetary system our financial system well-being for this country is supposed to be inside the walls of that vault there and if it's boarded up more than likely it's vacant and there's, and there's nothing in there in my personal opinion but leave a comment curious to hear your guys thoughts see you later